Hi. What I'm going to do here is give you an overview of what Composer is, how it behaves, give you the basic um, things you can do when you build a website, and then let you grow from that. Then the following movies will go ahead and take a project and show you how I use this piece of software to go ahead and create or enhance or add pages to the portfolio assignment that you guys have. So what I'm showing you right now is simple. For instance, how do you go ahead and make a new document? Well, you can click on this button that says new and you can create a page in a new tab or in a new window. The page in a new tab will simply add a tab right here. New, page in a new window, it will give you a new window of Composer. To close a tab, you go ahead and right click on the tab, that's two fingers on, you, on your trackpad, click, and then close tab. If you don't know how to right click, you should learn, but you can also click the control key, click on your mouse pad or your mouse, and then select close tab. That's how the tabs are closed. Next, how do you go ahead and create text? Well, simply you just type some text. So if you type in words, it'll just go ahead and type in the words. If you misspell a word, it won't correct it because the dictionary is not turned on as it is on a word processor. What I advise is for people to go ahead and create the text on a word processor and then copy and paste if it's a lot of text you need to write. So it's not quite a word processor, but it does behave like a word processor. Okay. So now I have a couple of items on the page. To select an item on the page, say to make the text bigger, you highlight the text and press the buttons up here. Larger font size makes it bigger. Smaller font size makes it smaller. If you want to make something bold, you use the bold, italics, underline. If you wanted to go ahead and uh, change the color of something, highlight the word that you want to make that color or the text you want to make that color, and then you can click here, choose color for text, and then you can choose your color, and it will apply the color. Okay. To make links, select what you want to be the link and click link and then type in the link as an absolute path to where you want it to go. So for instance, if I want to go ahead and have a link to YouTube, then I would go ahead and type HTTP forward slash forward slash dot YouTube dot com. Note this in my column before this forward slash. That's important. Okay. If I wanted this new window or this place to open in a new window, I click link is to be open in a new window. Notice that you have other options, but most of the time people want to go ahead and open as a new window. Click OK. Now you have a link. Links are denoted usually by blue and underline. Can you change that? Of course you can. You can change it by adding a style sheet to it. More about that later. To insert an image, you click on the button that says image. You can navigate to where your images are by clicking on the yellow folder. Once you select the image you want to get, you will see a small little preview down here with the dimensions. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add some alternate text here. This is an image of posters. Then click OK. I am going to save now. To save, just click the Save button. To add a title, that would be not the name of the page, but the title of the page. I, sh I write a short description of what it is, very short. Like, for instance, poster page and then click OK. Now you get to write the num name of the page and to do that I am going to go ahead and ask it to please save it not in the PDFs folders 
but into the actual place where I'm saving desktop portfolio save but before I break save remember I don't like people to add spaces because that becomes complicated down the road so I'm gonna just type test that HTML save it now I have my document that has been saved and the title says posters page here on the left hand side that's your site manager I'm gonna reload this by pressing this button now you can see the file here inside that portfolio later on part one I will show you how you set this up okay one question I usually get after showing people this is like well how do you go ahead and add a link to a picture to add a link to a picture you click on the picture then you click on link then you navigate to the item that you want to link in this case if you wanted to link a post uh, a PDF which I do select the file now you see the path and okay again now my image is actually clickable to preview your page you can save the page and then go to file browse page save pages to save before viewing yes I want to go ahead and save that and what it will do we will go ahead and launch my default browser in this case I have Firefox as my default, my default browser so it's showing it there and as you can see I have a page and if I click on the link it will go ahead and open the PDF I'm going to minimize that and I come back to composer so I've shown you how to enter text, how to add links, how to change color, how to add an image, how to link that image. Where do you go from here? Well, this is just a brief overview of what you can do. Sometimes the application acts buggy. All you need to do is to say what you're doing and then open it up again, and it will be just fine. Please note there's a whole bunch of menus here which I have not shown you since this is an overview, but feel free to explore. Okay, this ends the overview of Composer. In the next part, I'll show you how to download it. I'll show you how to set up the site manager. I'll show you how to go ahead and work with a template. And I'll show you plenty more on the next four parts.